Welcome to Mariposa Will and Mills Needle Felting Basics and Kit Instructions. For those of you new to felting and deciding to try a new craft, let me give you a small intro. Basically, felting is causing wool fibers to intermingle and knot together. This can be accomplished in a couple ways. Wet felting is one way, hot water, a little soap, and a lot of friction. The other way is needle felting with which I will demonstrate later on in the video. Felting needles have barbs and they grab onto other fibers, to the wool fibers, as it's poked into the wool, causing this intermingling of felting. It always is best to use a surface, such as a foam or a rice pad, um, because the needles are very sharp. This kit provides all needed supplies to start this new fun, easy hobby. Let's get started. So let's get started. As we're using our uh, picture as a reference, we can make this image as uh, detailed as we'd like. It's just a reference, so be creative and um, add your colors as, as you'd like. So first off, we're just starting with blocking out colors and um, use that, that seafoam green to start as that background of those trees and blocking in the clouds, just those heavier areas that you see of blocks of color. We're mainly going to use the color of the mat a color so um, where you see that you don't have to find a color in your palette it's it's already there so just adding the colors that are available and, um, and like I said you can make it as detailed as you like Spreading out the fibers in the angle, the direction that you want them to go. And I would say less is more, so you don't want it too heavy. So you're just pinching and pulling off small bits. As you see, I divided the roving to give myself a more slender line. And I'm anchoring it down first, and then I give a little tension as I needle up so that I can create that straight line. So anchoring it and give it a little tension and needling the opposite direction. Or needling toward your toward your hand as toward the tension. And you can pull off what you don't need. Needle felting is not a really big commitment, so you can, if you don't like how it appears, you can just pull it off. Just blocking out colors from the palette that we have. Still using the anchoring it on one side and giving it a little tension.
adding some a different color there just to give it a little color variation of the glow of the, the moon. And if you want the colors to blend more together, you add less. If you give it a little bit of thickness, then you're going to see that color more. So if you make it really thin, then it, you can possibly create another color. So what you're adding the sea foam to the, the darker bright blue, it would give a, a different kind of shade of blue. So this is an impressionistic painting, so there's not a great deal of detail, so it's, it's up to you how you add your color. So you're basically painting using the color palette that you have and adding the details that you like. change the direction of the needle if you're spreading out the fibers and you want them to have a, a specific shape you can change the direction of the needle and make those fibers lay down um, so when you're pulling apart the fibers you'll have a more softer edge so if you want that blended edge then you can uh, just poke those in where you want them to go If you only poke in one direction, then the, the fibers will just become more straight or just tucking in the wrong place. So if you want them to be spread out, then you spread them out and poke them in in a spread out way. If you're wanting to give more definition, you just poke more in that area. If you're first applying your colors very thinly and you decide I would like this a bit thicker it's great to just layer your colors
you may find that you need to poke over the whole mat if you want it to have more of a, a stiffer feel. But if you want it to be continued to be soft, I would suggest that you still felt everything because if, it, if it's too soft then it will just pull apart. So you do need to give a significant amount of, of attention to the wool that you apply. Thanks for watching Miracles of Woolen Mill Felting Basics Kit Instruction video. So continue felting and to replenish your felting needs, come visit us at the farm market or online at the link on your screen. Stay tuned for more felting fun.